Warning, what you are about to see is not fiction. These are covert recordings of real pranks done to real people in real situations. Do not try any of this at home. That's Travis, that's Frank, and that's me, Dave. We like to go into public situations, pull pranks, and capture it all by using the latest hidden camera technology. It's a buzzkill. of palm trees and sunshine, a natural magnet for tourists and people who like to take advantage of them. It's a great setup for our first buzz kill. Yeah, it's called okay. Miami Safety Mission, okay? Right. Well, tell me what it is. We're gonna go out and we're gonna give a safety seminar to the tourists that come to Miami and just tell them different technologies that are keeping them safe. Because Miami's a major tourist town. Yes, it is. And it's known for Very being unsafe for tourists. You're gonna be Crockett. And I'm the alligator. The mascot. Yeah, I think that we should kind of like be tight, but yet we should all kind of separate so we can kind of be converse and then diverse. You know what I mean? I have no idea what you're saying, but that's why you're the what? mascot. What's your character's name going to be? John, basically. You're a volunteer. Uh, I'm going to be Rich. Well. Rich what? Rich McFarlane. So I'm going to be wearing the patented hidden glasses cam. Let's get into character. Sort of preppy, sort of just fly. I'm going to be Randy Bellrose. And this is my uh, first day actually working with you guys, and I really don't like this job. Oh, gosh. Who's in control of unsafe behavior? That's you. Everybody's making the job. Our goal was to draw people into our version of a street side safety seminar. Our first task was to convince skeptical tourists doing, that we were safety experts. You'd like to earn a t-shirt? That's Crockett, Safety Gator. We're from Miami Safety Machine. Um, what do you think the most dangerous thing here in Miami is? Well, I'll tell you, the number one thing is the sun. You carry a wallet? Uh, maybe. Why? Because I'll tell you, the number one crime is pickpockets. Hey, John, Gator, show him the pickpocket. John, you do the pickpocket. He's stalking him, boom, he hits him. It's called a hit and run. Anyone touches you, I'd say, okay. you know, call the cops on them. Would you like a whistle? Let's give them a whistle. Free, man. I don't Absolutely want a free. Whistle. I, oh, I, yeah? I really don't want one. Here you go, sir. Come on. I just, don't need a whistle. I just put it in your pocket, buddy. I don't want it. Okay, okay you know what? I don't want it off when you leave. I don't need a whistle. I don't see anybody else carrying a whistle. We, we give him a whistle. He wants a whistle. Hey, you want a whistle? Yeah. Give him a whistle. Would you like a whistle? Hey, okay, Ed. Okay, Ed. God bless you, Ed. Let me see that crazy dude. Hey, hey, Randy. Randy. Just leave the guy alone, buddy. Gonna need you to leave him alone, buddy. Hey, Croc, come at me with a knife. Let me show Teddy this. Do you like want a switchblade or a stiletto? Something that I was packing right by my leg. Hey, my Randy, leg. become Croc, okay? Alligators don't talk so much, you know what I'm saying? No safety doing? seminar is complete without a demonstration on how to defend yourself against an attack by a man wearing an Watch alligator out, suit. Watch out, he's coming at me with a knife. Watch out, folks. Watch out. So what you want to do is you want to grab the flexor there. Oh, the Somebody said, uh, oh, there's... Randy, let hey. the cop go. Put it on. <laughs> it's Crockett, Safety Gator. How do you folks like to get a t-shirt, free t-shirt? Our seminar also included some very suspect safety tips. You carry a wallet? No. Just credit cards? Here, He's lying. Wallet. You're lying to me. Look, He's I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to make you safe here, Steve. Am... When you're walking by yourself, do you feel safe? When I do, I, I wear my plastic like this and I can. I... That, see, that's wrong. You don't want to grip it like that. Can I see your pocket first? Croc? See? That way, that's what you want to do. You want to swing it around like that. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you what it is. See, you're waving it around like that. That says, hey, she's got no money in there. That's not yeah, worth so anything. That's the way to do it? That's the yeah. way to do it. Where's her T-shirt? Ah, well, you know what? You didn't take the safety off. What are you talking about? Wait. Raise your right hand. Wait. Right hand there, Steve. I promise to always be safe. I promise to always be safe. Be safe. And always follow the rules that I've learned today. Like acting crazy. Like acting crazy. And smiling. <laughs> and I promise to always follow Crockett's Creed. 
Crockett's Creek. Randy needs you to keep the hat on and say the creek. I thought, oh, Randy. put the hat back on, Randy. Play it safe out there. 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 Play it just get, bear with me on that. Let me let me have them all. Put them down your head. And then you put the hat on. No, I don't wear hats. Boom! What are you? Local guy. A dork. Yeah, you know, but <laughs> I understand why. what you're talking about. Can we just like go on? Guys, I know you're giggling and this is all Guys, fun and games. Because I, I know we're a bit goofy, but the whole thing is, this is serious. Right. We personally you know, were victimized three years ago. I sit out here all day. Of a in the very sun. traumatizing mugging. We're trying to give back, you know. Right. It's all right, though. Yeah, take a breather if you need to. He takes it a bit rough. Mm -hmm. So we got one last thing. We're just gonna have, do the oath. Hey, he says, never you be know, afraid to be afraid, right? Uh, hey, and we're not held responsible for anything to happen. These guys okay, weren't dude. taking safety seriously. Later. We decided to become their guardian angels, whether they liked it or not. I think they might be going for some food. Where are you at, dude? <laughs> Where did he come from all of a sudden? <laughs> We're playing. Yeah, listen, a guy had salmonella poisoning from this place earlier. Really? One case is three cases, you know what I'm saying? Right. You gonna cruise up this way? Yeah. Okay, hold on. John, are you with me? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, listen, we're coming across the street. Make sure it's safe. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, this is safety group B. Anybody uh, in the vicinity of Cafe Torino? Torino, right? Yeah, Torino. Yeah, Cafe Torino. Um, how's the food there? Uh, very good, very good. Hey, Rich, two for one drinks and games. We're all right, buddy. Don't touch it. Don't give it back. No, let's go. No. no. What's wrong with two for one thing? It's all gimmicks and coupons there. You get in, it's one drink, another drink. Next thing you know, they're doubling you know, your liquor. They got you on the bar, nude, sprawled, doing like saddle shots. I'm telling you. <laughs> that wouldn't be such a bad night after all. All right, well, let's head back there afterwards. Then. Hey, guys, look both ways. Would you look both ways? Oh, here it is. It's closed on Tuesdays. Well, this Torino place is closed. Oh. Okay, come on. Hold on. Watch the old man. Watch the old man. Ooh. Hold on. We wanted to see just how long they would tolerate a pair of personal safety escorts. When was the last time you had something like salmonella poisoning or anything like that? Yesterday. Mad cow disease? Um, this morning. <laughs> After a brisk jog, Frank finally caught up with us. I say it looks great, guys. Yeah, we hurry up. We check the file. Hey, it's all right. What? No, I had to chase around for three blocks. You at least could have told me that you guys were going to do a... a we didn't know <laughs> what No, but that's not the point. If you're going to go and do a safety bit demonstration two uh, blocks down, tell Crockett that here. it's going to be two blocks down. I don't need to be sweating, you know? I know I'm getting paid. I don't need to sweat and find you guys some restaurant. I'm grabbing a seat. I have some ice water. How long are you guys going to follow us? Until you, until you know... Safe. Until you're safe. Until we can sit down and eat? Yeah. yeah. You never want to be too close to a cop, okay? They're always involved with that's criminals, that's all right? I'm trying to tell them how to be safe, sir. We're going to head down the street and go to Grill Fish. No, no, stop. Come on, come on, guys, come on, come on, come on. you got to be safe with dogs. Hey, what are you trying to get hit, huh? Hey, John, we're at Grill Fish. It's right down the road. I say leave the dog there, John. They thought they were safe in the restaurant, but look who was coming to dinner. Yeah, it's us. Well, how, how's it going with you guys? Really? Can you guys huh? take this so we can eat? Is it real cool if I just take a like, bite? No, it's not. Just to, like, test it? I think you really need to leave. No, please, can you leave now? We're, like, now. You really need to leave, like, now. Our work was done. They learned the most important safety lesson of all. Don't talk to strangers. Or you could be a victim of a buzz kill. Okay, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Next, stars, stars, and more stars. Did you see Steven Tyler in there? Yeah. Romero Smith? Hey, are you he going to get left. another? He just left. Where? I swear to God, he just left. He Where? Just Is left. he in his limo? He just left. Yeah. Where? He Where? Just Frank, Travis, Dave, their van, their surveillance equipment, their victims. Get out the van. Their job to screw with your head. Buzzkill premieres Tuesday night at 10. Laugh until the prank's on you. 
I love experiments. You never know what's gonna happen. Leslie's in my science class. That experiment was not my fault. When she told me about her skin problems, I said, well, here's an experiment that works. New Oxy Moisturizing Face Wash. So that people who get pimples can benefit from special cleansing care beyond just soap. Oxy has four ingredients to help eliminate dirt, oil, and germs. But here's the thing. It has an oil-free moisturizer to help prevent over drying. Science is a beautiful thing. Oxy pads, Oxy 10, and new Oxy Moisturizing Face Wash. Scientific equation. Oxy equals great skin. It will be impossible to catch your breath, to keep your cool, to believe your eyes. Rated PG-13. Now playing at theaters everywhere. If calling your friends and relatives in Europe costs just 39 cents a minute, who would you call first? What a wonderful problem to have. AT&T announces 39 cents a minute to many European countries all weekend long through December 1st. Call 1-800-272-WORLD to enroll. That's the easy part. The hard part is deciding who to call first. 39 cents a minute to Europe. That's your true choice. AT&T. Hey, you're a guy, and guys want to stay cool. How do you do it? With new Speed Stick Gel, proven to keep you drier than any other gel. It's the best gel protection. New Speed Stick Gel, just for the guys. Bone Thugs in Harmony. The Triple Platinum Album, East 1999 Eternal. Now featuring the new Crossroads remix. East 1999 Eternal, available in stores now. Statistics show 97% of Geo Prism owners would recommend Prism to a friend. And now, with $1,000 cash back, maybe the other 3% will too. Geo Prism. See your dealer for all of the other great savings going on now. Oh, and bring a friend and get to know Geo Prism. It will be impossible to catch your breath, to keep your cool, to believe your eyes. Rated PG-13. Now playing at theaters everywhere. In the game of politics, choosing a candidate can be a difficult move. That's because candidates make lots of promises. Promises, promises, promises. So, who will you choose? Her. Good choice, because she has an ice-cold Miller Lite, which makes only one promise, great taste. Join the party. Choose Miller Lite. Life is good, and when you vote, life is really good. When you want one, you want one. Miami Beach Nightlife. The famous and fashionable. Come out and play and be seen at all the right places. A picture-perfect location for our next buzz kill. Check it out. We're in Miami. I say we go play paparazzi guys. Dudes who take photos for a living, sell them to magazines. Exactly. And we're gonna go down to the clubs. We're gonna, we're go gonna hang out on the sidewalk. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna go down and mistake everyday people for famous people because Miami's basically famous for famous people. We're gonna see if they buy into being famous. We'll see if anyone else buys into them maybe being famous. I got a little thing called camera. The yeah. Uzi flash. Check it out, Frank. Camera right there. So I got film in this one, and I got camera. Can you right do there. a demonstration on me? Stop it, stop it. I'll be like the old school photographer guy, and you're like the new school hard copy catching video stuff. I'm gonna try to get like autographs from these people that you guys are mistaking for being famous people. Right. Famous people are beautiful people, and beautiful people only like to hang out with beautiful people. Everybody wants to be famous. Our goal was to pose as relentless paparazzi and give a few people the star treatment. We started with a party-hungry crowd cruising hey. the strip. Mr. Shapiro. Mr. Shapiro. 
I think that was Robert Shapiro. Are you guys from the Bartles and Jane commercial? No. Oh, no? Oh, okay. Dan, over here. Hey, Dan. Dan, what kind of sport are you doing now, Dan? <laughs> doing them all. I'm with MTV Sports. Hey, man, you big bungee jumping and stuff? Dan, what are you doing with your hair next? <laughs> Mr. Grant, I was wondering if I could get your uh, photo. Mr. Grant. Grant? Can I get your photo? <laughs> Is this Mr. Grant? That wasn't Hugh Grant, was it? Yeah, that was Hugh Grant. That wasn't Hugh Grant. That was. Did you see him? Yeah, you were that walking right next to yeah. him. That was Hugh Grant. I got my picture with him. Miles. Because I went up to him, hi. I do this for a living. I went up What's to him. What's your name? Christine. Hey, nice to Tom meet Van you Stone. You guys miss Steve Tyler. When? Uh, From Aerosmith? Yeah. Oh, get out of here. So did God. Oh, my God. Who was it? The singer from Aerosmith? Yeah, Tyler, yeah. Steven Tyler? Steven Tyler. Yeah. Of course, yeah, Where do you think he went? I don't know. Oh, man. We gotta find him. I'm trying to make money. Hey, you're not... Oh, I thought you were the guy from 90210. Brandon, you think I could just take your photo, act like him, so I can make some money off it? Go like that. Get your hand up. Like you're gonna punch me or something. Drew! Think I can get a photo of you? Hey, Mr. Chan. Are you Ice from American Gladiator? Mr. Brenner. Are you Yul Brenner? Huh? Hot on the trail of Steven Tyler. We decided to hit the nightclub scene. Miss Judd. Miss Judd. You think I can get a photo with you, Miss Judd? Miss Judd. Why do you want a photo okay. with me? Hopefully I can sell it to the newspaper. Why, Your albums are really good. Thanks, Very good album. Why look like Miss Judd someone else coming back? That is such an insult. I guess she wasn't too insulted to pose for us. Can you give me some uh, action shots? Hey, can I get autograph? Do you want us up? Thank you, Christy. Are you still seeing Billy? No. Oh, yeah. Not Billy, Billy, uh, Joel. Oh, sorry. Hey, you need some napkin on the lips. Yeah, that's a good one. It's yeah, totally gone. shiny. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Tori Spelling. Hey, Mr. Gretzky. Suzanne Summers. It's a wonderful night for an evening. We moved on to Sean Penn's club, a potentially dangerous place for paparazzi. Paparazzi? That's us, baby. Right. We're looking for Steve Tyler. You been around here? No? Steve Tyler. From Aerosmith. Aerosmith? Who banged you? Huh? No, I'm not allowed to talk about it because of the lawsuit. Oh, it's somebody famous. Yeah. Famous. Seal. What's up, buddy? Hey, can I get you guys to pose with Seal over here? Success. We conned him into posing as a celebrity. Can you get it? Oh, see you. Thank you, honey. Hold it down. Yeah, thank you very much. What's your name? Todd Galley. Todd. See you. See you. Famous for what? Famous music. Oh, for music. Hey, did you see Seal? I saw him. Mr. Bon Jovi? That's Ben from Ben and Jerry's. I thought you were great in leaving Las Vegas. Thanks, Mr. Cage. Mr. Vanilli? <laughs> Mr. Vanilli, can I get a photo of you? Sure. Everybody wants to be famous. But who in their right mind would want to be Millie Vanilli? Hmm? You think I'm Millie Vanilli? Yeah. Money, can Mark. I get your autograph, man? So you Millie. guys working on a new album? Millie, what's it look like for 96, like the end of 96? What's coming up? Well, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Are you guys, are you guys, did you take singing lessons or what? We didn't need them. Oh, you didn't? That, that was the producer. He wanted us to do that. But, but now you're going to see us lip syncing on our own. You can lip sync on your own or with your imaginary producer, but you'll never get a Grammy. No, 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 All no. you get is a buzzkill. There you go. You over my hand. You left the door. Give me a space. I'm gonna hit the floor. Coming up next, we get unzipped. Below the Mason-Dixon line, seven strangers are drawn together by an uncontrollable force. Beyond the Mississippi, five others find themselves trapped in a camper. Both groups feel they're being watched. Coincidence or the season premieres of MTV's Real World and Road Rules? New people, new adventures, new baggage. Brand new episodes of The Real World and Road Rules, premiering in July. Forget coincidence. This is destiny. Two warriors. Two legendary champions. And finally, on Saturday, June 22nd, they'll meet once and for all. Live on pay-per-view. Hector Camacho versus Roberto Duran. Plus... 
Buster Douglas, the only man to defeat Mike Tyson, begins his road back to the championship. Live on pay-per-view. Call your cable operator now. Catch the non-stop movie experience. Watch the movie channel's free movie pod. Yours from Friday, June 14th through Monday, June 17th. Four big days of Hollywood's greatest hits. Back-to-back -back star studded features filled with action, adventure, love, and laughs. Don't miss it. The movie channel's free movie thon. Friday, June 14th through Monday, June 17th. Turn it on and check it out. In a time of feudal lords and senseless battles, Robert Roy McGregor was the only man willing to lead the fight for justice. You're damn McGregor. I will have justice. TCI and Showtime invites you to experience the legend called Rob Roy. This month on TCI and Showtime. Talk about excitement. Happened. Leslie's in my science class. That experiment was not my fault. When she told me about her skin problems, I said, well, here's an experiment that works. New Oxy Moisturizing Face Wash. So that people who get pimples can benefit from special cleansing care beyond just soap. Oxy has four ingredients to help eliminate dirt, oil, and germs. But here's the thing. It has an oil-free moisturizer to help prevent over-drying. Science is a beautiful thing. Oxy pads. Oxy-10 and new Oxy Moisturizing Face Wash. Scientific equation. Oxy equals great skin. In the game of politics, choosing a candidate can be a difficult move. That's because candidates make lots of promises. Promises, promises, promises. So, who will you choose? Her. Good choice, because she has an ice-cold Miller Lite, which makes only one promise. Great taste. Ah. Join the party. Choose Miller Lite. Life is good. And when you vote, life is really good. This summer, make more of yourself. Doug, your clone. And get more. Two. I'd like you to meet three. Hi. And more. I'd like you to meet four. Out of life. We made a copy of a copy. It's not quite as sharp as the original. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. How many of you are there? And Andy McDowell. What happened? Multiplicity. Nobody has sex with my wife but me. Rated PG-13. At theaters Friday, July 12th. The South Beach area of Miami is home to glamorous models and fashion designers. Frank happens to bear an uncanny resemblance to designer Isaac Mizrahi, star of the movie Unzipped, a model situation for our final buzz kill. Travis has a cousin who knows a guy, Ronnie, who works for a limo service. So we're student designers that made these crazy clothes for these people to walk in, so we're gonna get people off the street and do this fashion show. Frank's gonna play an already established famous designer. So he's eyes up, because he looks a lot like a real famous designer. Does it flatter you that you're gonna be working with him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just How do you have, feel? Uh, it's, like, it's like walking with God on the beach. All my sketches uh, all through school, I, I kind of modeled off of some of his old designs, it's... and then one day he's, he found me and Ben. Uh, I kind of look like Keith Partridge, you remember him? Shut up! Our mission was to con models into wearing ridiculous clothing in a high fashion runway show. Grandiose is good. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better day for a fashion show. I love this one. Now that's apocalyptic. While we set up our runway by a beachside changing tent, we sent Frank out to establish himself as Isaac. I am so hot. I feel like I'm in the tropics or something. I like this one. That's uh, very Fargo. I like these. This is the Oscar the Grouch slippers. Awesome. I'm looking for the bathroom. What's your name? Construction set up there. We can go up and get a couple more. I recognize um, Did you? Cool. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm on the road right now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm doing a show right now. Down the block, actually. Yeah, it's going to be called 
apocalypse. Wow. We set out to collect models for our show. What would happen if the end of the world came? Where would you get your clothes? <laughs> Off of dead bodies. These are like some of our designs right here. We're pretty much recycling everything. It's like bright and fun, but it's also deconstructionist at the same time. Oh my God. Stop the music. Did you like it? Is that adorable? Like that is like lightning. Did a Secret. movie? Is a movie, a documentary? Oh, it's probably Oh, it's Isaac. gotta be Isaac. I can't tell you, but. Isaac was right. Five o'clock? Five o'clock, man. All right, I'm leaving. Yeah. I love you so much. Thank you very much. I'm doing a show next door. I'm gonna go. If you're gonna be in it, try not to shower. I like to look. What we're looking to do is try to get some, like, models and stuff like that. Do you think I'm model material? My son loved, uh, watched the uh, video and the documentary, oh, and he loved it. Have thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. watching right now. Thank you'd be perfect. Can I see your eyes? Wow. See the girl? Right there in the green shirt. We need you to get off the booth. Uh, Go get that girl no, 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 no. I'm wiping your ass off. Oh, man. Jeez, let's make a big deal out of it. It is a big deal. Oh, he's Isaac was right. He's got deal. pizza all over his ass. It's this guy right here, Fabio. Okay, yeah. you'd be into it, man? Well, what's it is for me, Emil? I don't think so. We're yeah. just here, like, we're like, like, like sweat. I'm gonna do it. I'm a little shy, but I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Hey, man, it's all like, cool. Just go with it. I trust you. No, my cousin just got a job in Bonnie's in New York. Mm -hmm. She's a buyer. All right. They're paying her and everything. Mm -hmm. You would actually be perfect for the show. I see your eyes. Very nice. Very beautiful. Is this your wife? No. I'm his daughter. Oh, I'm but we could use a few female models, and I think you'd be great. What do you think, Pops? Uh, let's bring up our way first. Just let me do it. See the tents over here? We're actually doing a fashion show. When does the show start? It's at 6 o'clock. Come on over. You guys want to come over? Right. Check it out? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Plant the stand, then you turn. My shirt. My Back. Shirt. We're just waiting on Isaac. <laughs> Excellent. This is and wonderful. It's so exciting. Shoes. Turn and take. Perfect. Okay. You wear something, you too. And this guy right here. Because the people out there will feel the way you feel. So if you go out there and you're feeling good, then they're going to feel good. If you go out there and feel like, you know, you're manic depressant, then they're going to feel like a manic depressant. A crowd had begun to gather while Isaac helped dress the models. This Peter Pan thing looks really outrageous. I think you would go good in this. It's more like a, uh, a putting green. You basically unzip it and step in. It's like a body bag. I did a runway with you. It was, I'm talking, it was like a year and something. And okay. I, when I saw it, I was like, no, you can't be. Well, your future in five minutes is going to be big. Wow. <laughs> Let's do it for the fashion gods, huh? One, two, two three. three. Break! Are we ready? It's showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Apocalypse Wow. Our first model was Fen. Sven looks sporty, wearing a putting green and an imaginary bow and arrow. Adorable. Adorable. Nadia made a perfect buzzkill target in a laser tag vest and plastic bag. Arms. Arms. But in the apocalypse, there is no time to change. It is just survive. Survive. Pants, pants, pants. It's every man and woman for themselves. In a buzzkill fashion show, even garment bags and toy cowboy hats could be passed off as a designer original. Claude forgot that you need to wear shoes with a hazmat suit. Sven looked hip in our hip waiters. Okay, I want you popping out there. Think Michael Jackson. The goggles are great. Be sassy. Sassy. Think sassy. We put Devin in our toilet series. A charming little number, complete with splash guard goggles. It will be grim! It will be devastation in the apocalypse! So I want you to smile. Smile, everyone! Just go like that. Go. And you go like that. Seymour also enjoyed our toilet series. And everyone could clearly see more butts. There will never be any pictures in vogue for these models. Because this wasn't a fashion show. Everybody out. This was a buzz kill. Wow! Time for us to hit the road again. There are more cities out there to buzz kill, and we gotta rock it till it strikes the hour.
raspberry. Might as well get a passion. Can I try it? Chocolate chip, a banana split, Wait, and a mango. One, one at a time. One time. I want raspberry. Cookies and cream and passion fruit right there. For more hazardous off-road adventures, be sure to catch the premiere of Buzzkill Tuesday night at 10 o'clock. On the way, singled out cranks out love for the minions. Next.